morning, coffee friends! Yes, we are here inside the Tuk Tuk and we are on the second part of our Tuk Tuk Tour. Previously, we went to the Royal Palace Park followed by the new and old Golden Pagoda. Then finally, we took a glance of the three important rivers in Phnom Penh, the Basak River, Mekong River, and Ton Lesap River. Click the link in the description box if you missed it. We are on the way to play with the friendly monkeys. After that, we will go to the Golden Boat Temple. Let's go! We're already here! But instead of monkeys, these kids welcomed us and it seems like they want to play. Introduce yourselves first. My name is Kia. Mm. 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 <laughs> hi, Lita. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> wow, so many monkeys. I saw a beautiful and fragrant flower that I never see before and I asked Pia about it. Later on, we made some research and this is what we found out. The flower of the tree is also known as Salavan flower and is considered as a symbol of Buddhism. The flowers are strongly scented and are especially fragrant at night and in the early morning. In Sri Lanka, these flowers are called salmal and its tree is called sal tree or cannonball tree. This tree is usually planted beside Buddhist temples. According to Buddhist scripture, it is said that Lord Buddha or Prince Siddhartha was born in a garden of sal trees or what you call the Lumbini Sal Garden. Directly on the main branches, the tree bears large, heavy, and woody shell fruits which give the tree the common name cannonball tree. This fruit is edible but is not usefully eaten by people because in contrast to its intensely fragrant flowers, it can have an unpleasant smell. It is fed to certain animals instead. There are many medicinal uses of the plant. Surprisingly, 
Some people believe that this plant helps in fertility. The acrobatics. One, two, three. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is the Golden Boat Temple, or also known as Wat Sam Hom. Uh huh. <laughs> this is an ancient Buddhist temple shaped like a boat, as you can see. This is located in the peninsula between the Tonle Sap River and Mekong River. According to the people here, this temple was formerly made of wood, so it may float during floods caused by the river. That is the reason why it is shaped like a boat. It was remade to cement when the place was no longer being flooded. Locals believe that this boat will carry the spirit of those who deceased. Those who do good deeds in their life will be guided by the boat to the afterlife. Pia, thank you very much for touring us. Lee Howie. Me too, Lee Howie. How does it thank you? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, brother. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.